In Northwest Florida, the crew of Lafitte took over downtown Pensacola. It was one big party tonight and will continue throughout the weekend. News Valley's Bryant Clerkley joins us now live from downtown. Bryant, I know the parade is long over, but uh, what's the energy like down there now? Well, Roseanne, yes, you're right. The parade ended about an hour ago, but it's still one big party. One big party here in Pensacola. You can see people all around us uh, in costumes and set up in the Mardi Gras decorations. And I talked to several people here today that say that this Mardi Gras is better than some of the other ones. Tons of people gathered on Palafox Street to get a taste of the Mardi Gras festivities, including the parade. As soon as those, the drums start beating, they start coming down the way, the only thing I know what to do, dance. And you just feel it, you feel it, you know? Whenever you get pelted in the face with a couple of beads, you know? The excitement didn't stop there. One woman says Mardi Gras is a tradition in the South, and she wouldn't miss it for anything. Partying, the being a part of a crew, the camaraderie, the brotherhood of the city. We love it all. Bob Winker decided to come to the parade decked out in Mardi Gras attire. Oh yeah, we just do it for fun, you know, and just enjoy the spirit, you know, of Mardi Gras. We had a big Mardi Gras party at our house and uh, just invite friends. Mardi Gras isn't just for adults. Kids are getting in on the fun. I like Mardi Gras because I get candy and I like catching the beads. And the fun just doesn't stop tonight. The parade, there's another parade that follows the same route tomorrow at 2 p.m. Live in Pensacola, I'm Brian Clerkley, News 5.